this is Mara Elaine on the Buying Space channel. I'm going to talk about something that has nothing to do with buying or selling. It has to do with being human and the political nature of being human. Now every time we greet a man, we call him Mr. The term Mr. does not indicate in any way, shape, or form a man's marital status. With women, if you are a child or you're a young lady that has not ever been married, you can be called M-I-S-S, -S, Miss. If you're a married woman, you're called Mrs. M-R-S. And sometimes you'll be uh, greeted as Mrs. and then your husband's name. And if you are divorced or you're over 18 and you don't want people to know your marital status when you're introduced, you're called Ms. Now, there is also a Southern habit and people think it's polite of calling a woman over 50 Miss. And I've been called Miss Myra in chat this morning and I've been called Miss Myra by someone in person this week. To me it's insulting because you're indicating an older woman but you're diminishing her social capacity at the same time. So it's like sexism and ageism rolled into one for me. Now I know it is a southern custom but it's rude and also I think it's rude to call somebody Honey, sweetie, you're dear. I really think that's rude because you're diminishing women by calling them these sweet little names. Uh, if you're in the South, I moved, no, I, I was on vacation in the mid 80s uh, to, well, I went to Orange Park Mall and went to the theater, and there was a, a couple there. They both had gray hair. and the woman called me sweetie and I said well what I've heard from about the area is uh, the lesbians are in Riverside so I was just letting her know I don't think it's appropriate for you to call me sweetie and I don't think it's um, appropriate for man to address me that way unless he's my lover or my husband or my father or my brother Unless you are close in relationship with me, unless you're a very good friend status or have met me in person, I don't like to be called Miss. I really think it diminishes my social capacity because men, when they're introduced, they're not classified as married or not. I've noticed that some churches in their Sunday school classes, they have a men's class. But they'll take the women and put them in never married, divorced, uh, you know, singles, uh, you know, and children, you know, are put together. But when, it, when people get to the age of young adult, Women are put into Sunday school classes according to their marital status, and the men are in the men's class. They're not separated according to their marital status. I mean, I just find that very discriminatory. If men aren't classified according to their marital status uh, by title or by function, neither should women. Uh, we are in an age where we are changing our pronouns from his and hers to theirs because uh, of LGBTQ rights. And why would we continue to use these outdated titles that are absolutely positively discriminatory towards women? Now, there are a couple people online that, are, that use the term just and then their first name and I wonder if any of the, the uh, their, um, all the ones that I know, know that do that are women and I wonder if they're doing that 
to say, hey, I'm just me, or I'm just me and my marital status doesn't matter, if they're doing that because our titles in our society indicate marital status. But I know the people that did that to me this week, they were unaware of how I felt. But I think we need to bring an awareness uh, to our society about it because to me it's sexist, racist, and discriminatory because I'm treated differently depending upon what title is used. And if I'm called Miss and I'm over 50, I'm just kind of like patted on the head and placated. Um, and you know, with a lot of things, I'm not taken seriously as a man my age. And that's not okay. I should be able to do everything a society a man does, and a man should be able to do anything a woman does. Like, you know, if you're a man and you want to go into nursing, you should not uh, be discriminated against going into a, a typically or historically female field. And you shouldn't be treated differently. And should, shouldn't you be treated better. A lot of male nurses are treated better than the female doctors. Uh, but that's another video. <laughs> but, you know, because we all have an ideal of what a doctor is. And we all have an ideal of what a nurse is. And those rules need to go out the window, too. But, anyway, I went ahead and said it. Because I, I didn't think it was an entire video on its own. <laughs> but, please, do not call me Miss Myra. I am not Miss Myra. I am Myra, or I am Myra Elaine. Or I am buying space. And, oh, by the way, I'm not buying spaces. If you read my channel name, it says buying space. I'm not a real estate channel. My channel is about recycling, reusing, um, and with a focus on buying vintage and used items. And also keeping, recycling and reusing and keeping my own space clean. And I've also joked about buying space as far as buying data storage <laughs> and upgrading my phone. Uh, I've made jokes about that, but I don't think I have videos on it. So anyway, I just wanted to explain that, why I didn't want to be called Miss Myra and how I feel about it. And uh, maybe I'm the only person on the planet right now that feels that way. I just can't imagine it, though, because uh, we have... A growing number of young people and some older people that are like they don't want to be called he or she at this point and the language in our government is going to start changing now Vladimir Putin could go on TV all he wants and say that all these people are making a mistake but even as a Christian I believe people have a right to personal choice and if people want to be transgender or they want to be androgynous or non-binary or lesbian or gay or whatever they want you know the Bible may look at it as a sin but adultery and fortification are sins too and we're all sinners so you can't say well you know people in that community are, are going to hell because when you're married to your second wife that is 20 years younger than you I mean it's a little bit of hypocrisy going on there so uh, that's my um, stance on gender and gender, t uh, gender titles. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.